Good morning, everyone. I hope your midterms went well. I thought I would go through this PowerPoint quickly to explain how it works. Um, so I'm going to kind of quickly go through it. Um, but this is the first kind of stage of animation. So I wanted you to learn a bit more about the background of animation so that when you make your own animation, you have a bit of understanding. So the uh, throw matrope um, basically is two images um, that go together and when you twirl it, it creates one image. It like is a pers persistence of vision. So it makes your eye think that they see two images. So these are some examples. And then um, on each slide that has a video, I put this video emoji to show you that it will actually play as a video. So I want you to play all the videos in the PowerPoint. Um, let's keep going. So the Zoe trope was basically the next invention that when it went in a circle and twirled, it showed the images actually looking like they're moving. And then I have another video on it. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about the flip book because next week we're gonna make a flip book. Um, and so I'll talk more about that next week. And this is why I said we will be making flip books next week as a project. Um, I also didn't talk too much about stop motion because stop motion um, is essentially the foundation of animation. But you will be making your own stop motion videos later. So I'll be talking about that more later as well. Um, and then I focus more on animation as in like drawing. So um, this is some of the first animation ever from 1906. I have the video here so you can start playing the video. Okay. And then I have the next, the next one um, and you can play that video. And then there will be corresponding um, questions on the worksheet. And then this video. And then we get into 1922. Um, okay, and then looking towards the future, you're going to see more animation that you're used to seeing. So things by, say, Walt Disney. Um, so I have a really famous example called Steamboat Willie, which I would like you to watch here and then answer the questions um, on the worksheet about this animation. And then 1960s and early 1970s, there was a decline in studio animation. So the cartoon animation was um, dedicated to more yearly Disney productions and children entertainment. There was also a rise in independent film. Um, I found a number of really interesting independent films. I decided to attach this one by Kathy Rose, who's a Canadian filmmaker. I'd like you to watch this one and give a summary in your own words about what it's about. Um, then anime, I talk a little bit about anime. I have an example from the 80s. Uh, here I talk a little bit about um, The Little Mermaid and how that was one of the first films that was for all ages and it kind of started that Disney trend. And then a bit about CGI. Um, and then this is a video, um, Toy Story example of CGI and and then bigger films such as Avatar um, also have CGI and um, then I have some examples like a Japanese example Spirited Away and you can watch this um, trailer and then give me a summary of what it's about and then the last one I have here is Ballot. the reason I chose this one is because it's Canadian um, and I like, and it's quite famous, maybe you've seen it, but I'd like you to watch it and give me a summary of it because this is kind of um, an example of these short films and the short films have actually won each year like Oscar awards and they're pretty amazing. So um, essentially this is a brief history of animation that I'd like you to watch. Um, for the worksheet though, if I'm receiving worksheets where I can tell that you and another person did them and they're in the exact same words, then that is considered cheating and I won't accept it. So it needs to be written in your own words. Um, and that is essentially what we're doing this week. Um, I didn't want it to be too stressful after midterms. And then next week, we'll be actually getting into making a flipbook and creating your own animation online.